Devil Blame removes film. We came as soon as we could. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Oh, looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove. Now, if you say it so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. What the hell? Ach du Scheiße. <lacht> ähm, ich nehme das da. <lacht> Entschuldigung. Ach so. Nee, nee. Das kommt nach hier. Und das kommt nach da. Nein, das soll da stehen bleiben. Und das... Da hin. Scheiße. <lacht> Gut. Dann machen wir das, was ich erst machen wollte. Das da hin. Und das lassen wir da stehen. Oh Gott. Your regulator's in position. Oh, okay. Okay. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. What? Okay, I'll let your pilot turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Huh. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to Instinct and you can see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Das ist netter. Hm? Den mag ich. You know how dangerous that is? <laughs> ja, ja. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So where do you want to go? Show? The next fire. You should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? Guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things. 
don't really have any credible evidence to pursue them with. Wenn er eine Tür nimmt, will ich auch eine. LAPD Detective, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasek. You should find him in his office. Okay. Wait, this is always the lucky one. Uh, er scheint es nicht zu sein. Here's what I hear. Kann die uns da nicht einfach bitte vielleicht hingeleiten? Huch! New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. I'll never find out. Okay. Oh Gott, er redet über, die redet über uns und das nicht gerade nett. Do it again. <coughs> Detective Phelps and Biggs, Arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. Can you tell us about this? Pressure regulated from a Model 7. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the Saturday. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault, or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with it. Okay. Mm. Mm. Wahrheit. How many guys do you know how to make that change? All you need is a screwdriver and a wrench. Anybody could pull it apart and put it back. Scheiße. <laughs> Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. The guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and credited. Sure, of course they are. I'm spiffing. You employ accredited mechanics to do this. We call them installers. Uh, technically, they're gas pumps. Installers, then. They know what they're doing, detective, if that's what you're trying to imply. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installer. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. Ach du Scheiße, wie hießen die denn? Cannibal finished off using the plant and then said, Is that it? Or do you? This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, bed twelve forty-seven. How can I help, detective? I 
need to know if any of the following names have previous criminal history. Okay, detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgrim John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Cutner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Barley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Racing. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show it and keep quiet. Oh, Biggie! Ich mag Biggie. Endlich mal wieder einen, den ich mag. <coughs> Nicht so wie Earl. Yeah. Happy now? Now, of course. Stick around, Mr. Racy. Ich habe ganz schön viel von diesen Teilen. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Oh mein Gott. Wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Probably not. Okay. Spind eins. Oh, da war wieder einer. The company went through thousands of these in the war, still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with the bugs. <laughs> Did you know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Racy? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Ah, der hat auch so ein Vieh. Ja, ist okay. Wir wissen, was das ist. Clemens ist ein fellow traveler. <lacht> oh, nee. Ja, ist okay. Oh. Darauf ein Schluck. Immer noch Kirschsaft. Ja, Leute, ist okay. Los jetzt hier.
Hopp, hopp. Okay. Mind if I leave you to it? We got work waiting. Okay, Biggie. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Barley. Where to, Phelps? Let's find the Ausgang here. Finden. Okay, there gets our horse. Okay. Uh oh. Diese Socke. Oh mein Gott. Na warte nur. And where exactly are we going? By Wally. Bartley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. I say we take the dot out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. 1917. No, I never fired a weapon in the line of duty. 